was going to be two friends, and now we're down to one. So, yeah, things are going back to how they used to be. But anyways, I'm on my way to pick up my friend, and we are going to head out to uh, the Benton Falls area. There's a trail that I want to take, but I can't find a whole lot of information on it, so this will be interesting. Hopefully we don't get lost. And I feel like a lot there's a lot of trails back there, and most of them connect and stuff. Most of them are well-traveled, and the signage is usually pretty decent, so I think we'll be okay. But just to be safe, I have copies of the map on my phone, and we're going to see what happens. down here just to look at the map to see if I can find the trail that I really want to take because I think we have to approach it from the campsite area mm. not this area so I want to do the Clear Creek trail but it starts here and we are here so we're gonna take this trail over here I think will take us over towards the camping area where Clear Creek trail starts and we will be able to take that down not sure about how far, probably about there, and turn around and come back or come and do this. If we do all of this, it's like six miles. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that I want to do all that. I think we'll just go a little ways down Clear Creek and see how things go. <laughs> so we went through there, the road that goes to the camp area. Oh, there's more restrooms down here. Because I think the trail heads down here. We're going to find out. Hopefully we find it. a dead end. Mm -hmm. Okay, wrong way. So we are gonna go this way. This should take us up where we want to go. Beach trail. F loop and E loop must be the camp area loops. We've arrived to the other camp area. So the trailhead should be at the end of these. So now, instead of going to the exit, we're going to go this way. And there's, there we are. There's what we were looking for. I wasn't crazy. Found it. Clear Creek Trail. That's where I want to go. So see, it's not too much longer. It's only 2.3 miles to the Rim Rock. I guess it wouldn't be bad to do six miles because we're not really dealing with a whole lot of elevation, I don't think. Yeah. If there's a lot of elevation, I would say no. Oh, there's like a big spider web there. That's the problem with going on these trails. Nobody goes down them. Oh, there's a huge spider web right there. Oh, we actually need to turn here. That's what would circle back around to the other campground. So we need to turn here. I'm gonna look, stop and look at that. I was gonna keep going straight. I think Benton Falls is down there somewhere because I hear people, I hear a waterfall, and there's like a little cutoff here. Can we see anything from here? While well, I'm watching for spiders simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear screaming. Uh, you can't see anything because of the overgrowth. Mm -hmm. but yeah, the water, Benton Falls must be right there.
I wonder if we missed a sign or if it really was that long. It really is that long. Two miles hiking is a lot longer than it feels like. Let's see, 1.8 miles to Chill Howie Campground, if you, you can't really read that, but I just read it for you. Um, <laughs> so now, so this is the start of Rim Rock Trail right here. So that's what we want to do. See, if you want to go to continue down the mountain, you would go that way. And it'll take you all the way down the mountain. See, Highway 30 is only three miles. Three miles that way you'd be at down the mountain. That's crazy. So basically, it's a seven-mile drive up the mountain and a five-mile hike down. So Benton Falls Trail is only 1.8 miles this way. Yeah, I guess we might as well go ahead and do the whole loop then. That's where we'll get off. We'll get off the Benton Falls Trail. Because that, that, I'm familiar with that trail. So we're definitely nearing... I can hear the water up there. So we're definitely getting back closer to the creek. And we're going down. We were up there. Now we're down here. And this just kind of goes gradually down. But like in a straight line. So it's not too steep. Which is nice. Okay, so this must be the creek crossing. See a lot of fallen brush. Oh, that's pretty up there. It's on the other side of these trees. And it goes there and the trail's over there. So we came from there. And she crossed here. I'm crossing here. And we gotta go over right there where she's standing. So I'm gonna put this away because I don't trust myself with this stuff right here unless my hands are not full. It doesn't look too bad, so I'll see you in a minute. Made it across. Wasn't that bad. I just make it worse than it is because I have issues. But now we continue on the trail. <sighs> okay, we just said the hard part. It's uphill. It's about half a mile from the creek, and then it's just gradual uphill all the way back up to the top on the other side. So, we are now approaching Benton Falls Trail, I believe. So, we actually did so Rim Rock Trail from start to finish. That's all that it does. It's just that connector trail. So, we are now on the Clemmer Trail, and Benton Falls is only 0.8 miles that way. As soon as we find a rock that we can sit on to eat, <laughs> that's what we'll do. Another creek crossing, guys. Woohoo! The water's so cold. Woo, guys. Water is freezing. So now... So last time we were here, we did the Hancock Loop, and we went that way, but we started from this direction anyways. But we're going to the Benton Falls Trail, which will take us ultimately back to the parking lot. But of course, we will stop at Benton Falls on the way, which we did not do last time. Not too much further. 0.3 miles, and that boulder should be there. <laughs> Yeah, I remember this creek crossing. And then this time I think it's like immediately after this one that the boulders at. Because there's no other creek crossings after this. I do remember that. Cold. Cold. But now I'm like used to it, so it's okay. <laughs> the lunch boulder's so close I can taste <laughs> it tastes salty. <laughs> and like dirt. <laughs> Here we are. Boulder should be right here. We made it to my inf my infamous memory of the memory <laughs> of the boulder. This is the spot that I was thinking of. This is the exact boulder. So, yeah, we literally just ate around the corner there. And here's the trail down to Benton Falls. So, it's very close. Benton Falls, that way. So that's the trail down to Benton Falls. We decided we're not going to go down there. Only because... Your dog's already. Yeah, we could hear dogs and children screaming while we're sitting there eating lunch. Because it's over, like, that canyon, basically, of where the falls are. And we just don't want to face people today. <laughs> 
And last time I was down there, it was crazy. Like, there's not a whole lot of room, and you do have to make room for people to go by and stuff. Definitely worth going down there if you've never been. But if you've been, then you've been. So, I do have a video of that trip, which I will link at the end of this video. So if you want to see what Benton Falls actually looks like, go check that one out. Okay, so now we are back. And now you go this way to get back to the parking lot. The beach is busy. <laughs> wow. No thank you. <laughs> When we got back, it was packed. I mean, you saw how busy the beach was, but the parking lot, there was no parking spots. People were parked on the side and stuff. Like, they would have been happy to get my parking spot. Whoever is lucky to get it. I'm sure it's already taken now because it was, like, right by the trailhead. But anyways, definitely get here early. We got here. It was, like, 11, 11.30, I think. So it was kind of late, but the parking lot's so big that there was still there were still spots. But now there are definitely no spots. And it is now 3.30. That, tr that whole trek, that was actually a good hike. It wasn't too strenuous, but it was, like, good that it was long. And the trail, there are some spots where it kind of got tight. As you saw in the video, I tried to video those spots so you could kind of get an idea where it's kind of overgrown, but not too badly. Benton Falls Trail is always open and good because people go down all the time for summer and go down to the falls and stuff. But most people don't go past Benton Falls Trail, so all the other trails that go off the side are great. Mm, you'll run into a lot of mountain bikers, so you gotta watch out for that. But other than that, it's it's a nice area. Nice trails and easy, because everything's pretty flat. And not too difficult to get around. I've, I think what we did was like five and a half miles, based on when I started my watch. It Somewhere between good. five and a half and six miles. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you've been to Benton Falls before, and if you haven't, if you're excited to come visit, even though I didn't even show you the waterfall, but if you want to see the waterfall, check out the video at the end of this video, and I will see you all next week. Mm -hmm.